healthy dose of control in your life is good and biblical. Temperance is one of the fruits of the Spirit. But when we let control get unbalanced, we set our life on a destructive path that ruins every relationship we have. Most controlling people are not trying to hurt you as much as they're trying to protect themselves. And it just kind of comes off the wrong way. Every controlling person is not a control freak. Could just be somebody with a strong personality or misguided intentions. But the extreme control freak that I'm referring to today are the insecure, selfish, and manipulative people who want to impose their obsessive will onto others to the point that it oppresses and destroys other people's quality of life. Control freaks may seem confident and have it all together, but they're usually full of anger, insecurity, and fear to such levels that they have to control everybody and every little thing in the world just to feel safe. Usually, the more controlling that a person is, the more insecure they are. Extreme control freaks, they don't compromise or negotiate well. It's kind of their way or no way. And they have very little respect for others. And they will usually cause everybody else's life to revolve around theirs, their likes, their wants, their needs. But watch out when they don't get their way. They'll cry, pout, soul up, make threats. And if that don't work, they'll play the victim's card and threaten to hurt themselves. And when all else fails, they'll throw tantrums and hissy fits. Look, these violent episodes are just another method of control. It's a way of saying, look how scary I can get when I don't get my way. You see, control freaks have a very possessive, jealous nature. They tend to be very clingy and needy. Control freaks don't have relationships, they have property. They see their spouses and friends as theirs. Listen, if somebody tells you they're in love with you or they're already mentioning wedding plans out of the second date, run, just run. Look, another thing they'll do, they'll isolate you. Just like a cult, they wanna slowly separate you from friends and family. They wanna remove your support system. Beware of anybody that cuts you off from healthy relationships, especially family, just to make themselves feel safer. Control freaks will use anything to extort you or keep control. Money, kids, affection. They'll even use religion or try to twist God's word to keep you up under their thumb. And control freaks are extremely critical and condescending. They will chip away at your self-esteem. They want you to feel like little children that have to come and ask them for permission. Or they want you to think that you can't survive without them. Control freaks are also arrogant know-it-alls. Your opinions will never have the same weight as theirs do. And control freaks are also bad listeners. They like to do all the teaching, talking, and correcting. But even though they're bad listeners, they are skilled talkers. They will use you, do you wrong, and then they'll have you apologizing for it. Control freaks will even try to control your reality and your feelings. In other words, you might say, I'm hungry or I'm cold, and they'll tell you you're not. <laughs> so how do you know if you're being controlled by a control freak? Well, you do things because of fear, not respect. You will cater to this person's moods and you're always worried that they'll be upset with you if you don't comply. Look, stop tiptoeing around these spoiled brats and let them learn to grow up. Stop living in misery just so they can feel safe and happy. Look, God praises godly submission and has a chain of command that we all have to follow. But he never meant for us to be slaves to an obsessive control freak who won't deal with their own control issues.